Hi, I'm happy to have Tim Escalopio on with us today with 3D Tech Solutions on the Business Spotlight uh, interview series. Tim, I am thrilled to have you on board. Um, my name is David Dowdy. I own Action Coach Lake Norm, local business training, education, coaching company. And uh, Tim, why don't you kick us off by telling us a little bit about yourself and your company? Thanks, David. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for having me on here. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, so my name's uh, Tim Escalopio. I'm the uh, CEO and founder of 3D Tech Solutions. Um, the 3D stands for Discover, Develop, and Deliver, uh, which kind of encapsulates our approach to helping businesses integrate AI into their operations. Um, we, we've we been around since 2023, but we really kind of focused in on um, helping companies with AI at the end of 2023 when AI really started to boom, um, putting us in, in a good spot to uh, with, with our experience. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's a constantly changing environment and developing environment in it in itself. So um, understand came from some bigger companies, uh, you know, corporate type environment. You've got this now. So curious if you had to do it all over again, you know, what what might you do different now? You're a couple of years in, but huh. some good. good uh, well, definitely um, when we first got started, figuring out the, the right um, technology to use internally mm. was was a, a big thing. We we kind of knew um, where everybody was going to be, you know, our different roles in the company. And uh, because we're a smaller family owned company, um, that was kind of already laid out. So it was more of a figuring out the right technologies to, to make our lives better in our daily operations. Um, and then also to kind of give offerings to our clients in a way that's easy for them to digest, right? Yeah. Um, an example like would be using Microsoft Forms um, or uh, WordPress as an example for our website. Just right. just different things like that. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So, um, not sure how much homework you did and prep work before you jumped in the deep end. In that, was there much planning to get started in your business, or was it, hey, we're doing this thing and we're going to figure it out as we go? Uh, it was kind of both. Uh, there was. I'd always wanted to, uh, I always have been fascinated with AI um, and consulting and, and being in business is, is always, uh, I've, I've always kind of been in the operations kind of deep end, I guess you would say. Yeah. And uh, when when AI became something that was consumer friendly, um, that's when I was like, yeah, I, I want to be a part of this. Uh, and I kind of, just took us off the deep end and, uh, and we went. <laughs> so, you know, so you, you learned, there's a lot of learning to be done on the tech side and what resources are available Absolutely. Some, from a business standpoint. What are some of the learnings that stand out for you? Uh, coming up with a, a good marketing plan, mm -hmm. um, making sure that your, your services are focused enough to where they make sense, uh, but also things that you can deliver, right? Um, you, you see sometimes very obscure services on people's pages or in their company mm -hmm. listing. And uh, something's always kind of bothered me. So us figuring out you know, exactly how, what we're gonna say first and, and how make sure it aligns with what we're delivering, uh, I think is very important. Yeah. It, was it over promise and under deliver? That's not it. <laughs> I think it's under over. Yeah. 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 yeah that's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So going into business, you know, there's misconceptions about business. Yeah. You know, all the money, all the money you're going to make, the freedom you've got, it's going to be easy peasy, you know, yeah. who, who better to work for than yourself. Right. So what are some of those misconceptions and what have you learned that might be valuable to share? Uh, well, I, if you, I, for everybody, including, you know, it, I've always found that people find starting a business is scary. Mm -hmm. It can be, it can be, but until you try it, until you do it, um, you know, you, you're never going to know. So what I'm trying to say is that if you have an idea for a business, you should go for it. Mm -hmm. um, 
and just get out there. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you know, working for large companies is safe and there's benefits and things, but the, the freedom and uh, being your own boss, that type of, that type of feeling, there's, there's nothing like it. Right. Right. Um, and, and so that's what I would say to if people are thinking about. Um, I, there's probably people who are thinking about making a business or um, who are already in business. Um, yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. You can learn as you go. You know, small yeah. Steps, cautious. Yeah. Baby steps is, is definitely a thing. Um, for myself, we, you know, we've made sure to position ourselves in a place where um, you want to make sure that there's a need for your business mm. before you create the business. It's always good to get out there and, and make sure that um, I, I saw this, this uh, short little clip one time talking about like starting a business. Uh, and I think the, the uh, example was like a dog walking business or something. And it was like, if you're going to start a business, you know, why not start dog walking first? And then once you have people who, who want your service, then build a business. That's kind of what happened with me. Um, I was already in the, in the compliance and AI kind of area, already learning and doing those things. Uh, and it, that's what kind of catapulted us into uh, being able to turn it into an actual business itself. Wow. And, it, and it's so cool when you listen to the SBA or other resources, you know, the majority of business, by far the majority of businesses fail in the first five years. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're a couple of years in. What, what do you think has attributed to your growth and success for, you know, for the run that you've had so far? I would say um, a commitment to making AI accessible uh, is certainly our hands-on approach um, and being, being personable, being um, to staying away from jargon, unless people really want to get down in the, into the, the weeds or into the trenches of tech um, trying, you know, because it, you, you're going to be interacting with all kinds of different people uh, mm -hmm. from different areas, different backgrounds. And if you just talk to them, like they're a person, uh, you, f you get the best um, out of it. Uh, that makes sense for the, for those of us that are not techies, don't, don't use the, that language that I don't understand anyway. Right. Yeah. You get, sometimes you get deer in headlights and it's like, okay, I, I need to kind of rein it back in and think about this a little differently and come at it from a different angle because I'm, I'm not connecting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, you've got family in the business which, you know, even without family in the business, this work-life balance concept is often challenging. And then when family is in the business, sometimes it becomes even more challenging. So what do you, what do you see as the biggest challenge with regard to that balance? How do you keep things in check to keep things good on the personal side as well? Uh, so working, working with my wife and my sister and our, and our company, uh, it's a pleasure. Like I, I love working with family and I, I continue to um, mm -hmm. hope that in the future we'll be able to bring on more family members and, and give them training and things that they need to be able to um, thrive in this growing industry. Right. Because it's yep. AI is here and it's here to stay. Um, and, but on the, the personal side, um, making sure that everybody understands what they're working on, um, being open to new ideas, um, you know, I, I found that, that those things are the best for us. Uh, yeah. 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 The clarity on the roles. And well, Granny, we may need to be careful here in case they're watching this, but what are the qualities in employees that you're looking for? Like as you can, you've been around for a bit in some other work environments and things, but what tends to make the most successful, the best outcomes, what types of employees, what types of characteristics are you looking for in people that you would want on your team in small business in particular now? People who are open-minded, uh, people who are not afraid to try something new um, and who look for uh, the wins instead of the losses. Mm. 
you know, those small wins carry over the losses that you might have in a day, right? Like if you yeah. focus on those things, it'll carry you. So the positive outlook, focus Absolutely. on the wins. So I'm Absolutely. making some notes here. Was, yeah. So good. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, I found that, uh, especially because things are changing so quickly and there's new things, especially in AI, uh, being open to new ideas, uh, being a go-getter and trying new things out. Uh, one of the things that we're going to start doing is br- testing out new technologies as they emerge in, in like a, a more structured environment within our company. Um, we, we try to stay toward more towards um, software as a service or like a neutral kind of vendor uh, platform. That way we're not, um, we're not pigeonholed, I guess you could say into a specific technology, right? Uh, because that, there's a bunch of different categories of AI that, that uh, I feel that we should be able to offer to our clients. Right. Very good. Well, this has been great to, as we start to wrap up sure. here with the interview, any other words of wisdom, insights that you might offer to an emerging business owner or somebody that's been around for a bit and looking to get a little wind in their sails, get to the next level? Um, stay focused on your mission, uh, but be flexible in your approach, right? And always listen to your customers, right? The customer is always right. That's why they say that. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you can you can always adapt, uh, and but mission, like I said, mission is you know stay on stay in mission, um, and and make time for yourself uh, as well. You know, make make sure that um, you're healthy and happy in what you do, yeah. and it will come out in your work. Excellent, excellent. So, Tim, if if somebody wants to reach out to you and find out a little bit more uh, or connect, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, so uh, we have a LinkedIn, um, 3D Tech Solutions. Uh, we just launched our website, 3DTechSolutions.net or .us. Okay. Um, or uh, you can reach us. We, we are going to be having some other social media soon, but sure. now LinkedIn. Okay, fantastic. Well, I, I really appreciate it. Tim Escalopio um, with 3D Tech Solutions. Really appreciate you being on the Business Spotlight today and wishing you all the best. Thanks, David. I appreciate it being here.